Welcome back, today we are looking at Outfit Anyone, which is a tool created by the Alibaba group. Once again, they come in with a cool AI tool. Now, as you've probably figured out already, this allows you to try on any clothes. And from what I've seen, it works astoundingly well. The model can apparently generalize to various body types, so it should change depending on your model. And it even works with anime. So here you're just giving it a full reference character instead of just the clothes. In these examples, I'm only seeing them doing that with anime though, so it'll be interesting to see if we can just grab a person with an outfit that we like and put it onto our model. So we'll be checking that out in a second. So apparently it uses a zero shot trial network for the initial image and then a post hoc refiner. But who cares about any of that? Let's check out their demo. Now due to possible privacy concerns, at the moment, we can only upload clothing images, so all the models that will try on the clothes are preset, I guess, to avoid some sort of deepfake situation. But of course, you could use things like control net and face swapping. So let's check out the demo on Hugging Face. I'll leave both these pages in the description. So here it is, Outfit Anyone. So down here, we seem to have the models. So let's give this a try. Let's not use their example images. Let's create our own. So I just hopped onto focus. I'm having trouble generating just clothes. I'm sure there are some models for that, but I want to see how it works like this anyway. So first of all, let's try an elegant red dress with a split. And there we go. I'm interested to see if it can do this without us removing the background and just with this whole person wearing the clothes. So let's try that out. Let's drag in our whole image here. Let's maybe take a different model and hit run. Ah, okay, so it seems to also be taking over the background. This is why you want a neutral background, I guess. It did, I mean, basically this looks like a face swap almost. Let's try removing the background, see what happens. So here I'm in Canva, just removing the background. Then we want to make it white, like this. Then we just download it, make sure to not do transparent background. Just download that. Let's try that again. All right, yeah, so that's not great. So I would be really interested to find out what would happen if we only do the dress without the actual person in it. All right, so here in Microsoft Designer in Copilot, which is absolutely free, by the way, we're using Dolly 3 and I created this dress image. So let's download that. Let's see how that goes. Wow, see, that's much better. That's really good, actually. All right, so I generated this blue blouse in Dolly again. And now let's add this leather skirt, run that. I'm wondering what it will do with this knot in the in the blouse. There we go, looks great. As you can see, it really copied it very well. Let's try putting these clothes onto this dude here, see what happens. Interesting, it changed it a little bit, but it still looks pretty much the same. <laughs> Works pretty well. So you saw in the thumbnail this pineapple being turned into a dress. So let's try that out. How about let's use a banana? I don't know why I'm even generating a banana picture. I could just grab one from the internet. But as this is an AI channel, we will use AI as much as possible. All right, so here's a banana. I guess I should put in top garment again. Let's see what happens if we leave this empty. <laughs> no, it didn't like that. Hmm, it really doesn't like this banana as a garment. Makes sense, fair enough. All right, we're trying it with this apple. Ah, so it took the green from the apple and made that her top. This is not what we wanted though. So I just got the same pineapple image from the example below. Let's see. I mean, it must make it for us then, right? Yeah, there we go. None of the green stuff, but I guess it looks at the pattern of the pineapple. So maybe if we have fruits or foods with more patterns like this, it would work better. Oh god, why am I even trying this? So I generated this cute fluffy dog. Oh my god. Oh god, that's horrible. <laughs> it's like it's wearing its skin. Oh no. It does work though. So let's try an anime character. Kirito. Grab this guy again. See if it can take over an anime image's clothes into this real life photorealistic image. By the way guys, if you just want to talk about AI or have any questions about anything, or just want to chill with other AI enthusiasts, join our new Discord. Link in the description. Alright, so it definitely took over the clothes, but it is still like the animated version, or the drawn version I should say, I should say and his face is still realistic. It's a bit weird. It's like you face swapped onto an anime character. It doesn't look great. If we had an anime character model we could try, then this would work a lot better, I think. However, even though they show all these anime characters in their examples, we can't actually upload our own photo and they're nowhere in this list. So that's a shame, but still this is very cool. I can see some really good use cases for this. But the realistic images coming out of this do look very, very good. So I just thought I'd show you this tool because I hadn't heard about it. So yeah, leave a like, join the Discord, and I will see you next week.